Hey everyone, Margaret here with Curse and Arcaholic.com. We're bringing you another Arc Survival Evolved video. This time we have a three-part video series that covers what engrams you should learn and why. Today we're going over levels 1 through 15, so let's go! Starting at level 2, get yourself a campfire, stone hatchet, and a spear. These three items are the basic requirements to survival. A fire keeps you warm, a hatchet helps you gather supplies, and a spear comes in handy when defending yourself from creatures and other players. We'd also recommend learning the Thatch Foundation and Thatch Doorframe. These, along with the Thatch Building pieces from level 3, will give you some temporary shelter while leveling in the early game. At level 3, the water skin is great because, well, it obviously carries water, which will allow you to explore further. The Hide Sleeping Bag is a one-time use respawn point, which can be useful if you die because it'll make it easy for you to return to your base. And the thatch roof, wall, and door are the final pieces to building a thatch base, but we would not advise devoting too much time to building one of these because they are flimsy and wood, which unlocks at level 5, makes for a much better base foundation. At level 5, the wooden foundation and wall are the second tier of building material, and they are much sturdier than thatch, serving as a better starter base. The slingshot is another great engram to learn. It's the first true ranged weapon in the game and puts some distance between you and your enemies, especially the ones trying to eat you. Next, we have the storage box. It'll let you safely store your items so you don't become encumbered. The simple bed is a step up from the sleeping bag, not because of comfort per se, but because it's a permanent respawn point. So you can quit making those sleeping bags every time you die. The mortar and pestle is the next engram we recommend, as you'll need this to make spark powder, gunpowder, and cement. You'll also want to learn narcotics as it's a non-expiring way to keep dinos asleep while taming and makes the process a smidge easier than force feeding them berries like a crazy person. Finally, these last three items are optional but useful. The spark powder, needed for preserving bin and gunpowder, the blood extraction syringe, which allows you to make health packs, and the standing torch, a long-lasting light source. At level 10, we have the final pieces to the wood tier base, the wooden ceiling, door frame, and door. These are perfect for your first long-term building, making it hard for most players and prehistoric creatures to break into. You'll also want cementing paste for your next foundation creation, the metal base. The rest of the recommendations for this level are once again optional, but super useful depending on how you plan to play. The stone irrigation pipe, intake, straight, and tap are useful for farming and making water accessible anywhere with a tap. The cooking pot will allow you to make special recipes. Gunpowder is needed for ammunition, which is fairly sparse. A flare gun can be useful for locating and signaling friends, and a compass will help you navigate when obelisks aren't visible. And the final level we're going to cover in this video is level 15. At this point, you'll want to invest in a raptor saddle. Raptors are the best general use mount in the game, and we highly recommend taming one. You should also learn the bow and stone arrows. The bow is the second level of ranged weapons and is much more efficient than the slingshot. You'll also be able to begin the stone tier, with the stone fence foundation and wall. It's a bit stronger than wood. The large storage box will provide you with even more space-efficient storage, and the rest of the recommendations for this level will yet again be optional, but useful engrams. First up, we have the wooden fence foundation, dinosaur gateway, and dinosaur gate. Put all of these together and you'll get some pretty secure pens for your prehistoric friends. The wooden hatch frame makes for easier roof entrances, and the wooden ladder is cheaper than stairs, but less convenient. The stone irrigation pipe intersection, incline, and vertical parts will allow for more irrigation and make installing irrigation a bit easier. Last but not least is the parachute. This engram is useful if you fall or are dropped from a flyer. And there you have it, the engrams we suggest for levels 1 through 15. We hope this was helpful, and if you have any tips of your own, please drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to stay tuned for the next video in the series by subscribing to the channel. Margaret signing off, enjoy the game.